Hi everybody, Omar Kazarski here, Bauer Web Solutions Creative Director. We can be found on the web at www.bauerwebsolutions.com. In this video, I want to just give a brief introduction to the concept in WordPress known as short codes. What a short code is, is a way for WordPress administrators to add functionality or formatting to their WordPress posts or pages without having to know a lot about intense or detailed HTML or JavaScript or cascading style sheet programming. And a few things to mention about this concept of short codes. Out of the box, when you first install WordPress, it does not come with any short codes. Short code, the ability to add short code commands is dependent upon if you have certain plugins installed to your WordPress program and you then incorporate those short codes as in, in, instructed by the plugin developers. You just can't basically make up your own wording and it's going to magically work here. Okay, uh, so what a short code is, is a way to get those commands in without WordPress sometimes maybe stripping out or changing the code during the editing process to make it unusable. Usable. And a short code will either consist of one line of a command or it might consist of three sections like the opening command line, the actual content, and then the close command line. And short codes within WordPress will be easy to identify because they will be uh, the short code opening and close command lines will be encompassed by square brackets like a left square bracket and then a right square bracket what I mean by a square bracket is if you look on your keyboard a standard uh, keyboard you have that top row of letters Q W E R T Y U I O P that top row of letter keys. Well, to the right of the letter P, you have that squiggly bracket and you have a square bracket. So if you don't use your shift key and just hit that key to the immediate right of the letter P, you get a left square bracket. If you hit the key to the right of that, you get a right square bracket. All right, so that's what I mean by square brackets here. So I'm going to show you an example of a short code command just so you're familiar with the concept. So I'm going to go to my about page here and I'm going to add a piece of short code that will basically call out some of my information in a colored box here. So I've already gone through the process of logging into my WordPress site as mentioned in previous videos here. So I'm just going to hit my edit page button. And after my first line here, this is where I'm going to want to have this color box. Now in my editor, in my particular WordPress demo site, this is not a standard WordPress thing as I mentioned again. I have this little icon here which will ensure in insert short codes. When you install third-party plugins that give you the ability to insert very specific short codes, the way you go about inserting the short code might be different. It might be via a little icon that you click on. It might be in a different location. You might need to copy and paste it. You might even need to literally type it in by hand. So that's all determined by that particular uh, plug-in module, so you need to read the instructions for each one. But in this particular case, I am going to just click on this button. It gives me a couple of choices for their basic short codes. So I'm going to 
click on this entry here that says box. So I'm going to in, insert a colored box here. And if I look at some of the options here, I'm going to choose a basic format for it. I can enter in a numeric width. And whether I want that to be aligned left or right, I'll say we'll make it left. I can choose a color, I'll eh, say red. And then what do I want the text inside of that to say? So I'll say, hello world. Kind of a basic programming thing. And then I'll say, insert into post. All right. And this is the line that is going to make that short code possible. So let me update this first so I can view this page, so I can show you what it looks like, and then we'll come back and re-examine that short code a little bit more detail. Okay, so here is a little box here. It's red and it's called out here. Now, if I edit this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put each, because if you looked at this real closely without knowing what you're looking at here, you might think that's all one line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put returns in it just for tr training purposes so you can better see what's, what's happening here. So in the very simplified sense, in theory, we're looking at this. So this would be the opening of the short tag, which is the left bracket, the name of the short code command and then a right square bracket. It's basically telling WordPress, okay, this is the beginning of a short code command. So whatever follows that, I want you to do that short code command, like in this case, hello world, and keep doing that until you see the closing counterpart of that. It's actually would be more like this. So it's box and your content, and then the closing counterpart to that will be the same thing as the opening tag, but it's going to have a forward slash in it. So it's square left square bracket, forward slash, box, right square bracket. So this is, in its most basic sense, a short code here. Now, in the opening parameters, we had, uh, in the opening tag, we had additional parameters. So all of this content here, these are the attributes to further modify that opening short code tag here. So for instance, if I wanted to make it wider or maybe change the color to blue, I can do that here. If I wanted to add more content, I can do that here. All right. So again, when we ins and when we had WordPress insert that specific short code for us, it looked like this. But again, I just put these on three different lines to make it easier for you to see where the opening short code tag is the content itself and the closing short code tag. So let me update this and let's see now if it's wider and in that blue color. And there it is. Okay. So in short, no pun intended, short codes which are accessible within your WordPress site, assuming that you have specific plugins installed and enabled to allow for that is a series of commands encapsulated within square brackets. And again, sometimes it might just be one single line. It might have more than one line consisting of an opening short code tag, its content, and then the closing line. And how you implement them is different upon a case-per-case -case basis, depending on the plugin and how that software is written. There might be a little interface, there might be a drop down, or you might need to copy and paste it from one section of the dashboard into another, or you might need to literally type it by hand. 
all right but that all of that will always come those instructions will always come with whatever uh, plugin to install or buy okay so hope this gives you a little interview uh, overview about short codes and um, if you have any other further questions about WordPress or WordPress installations or creating a new WordPress site for yourself or for your organization, please contact us at bowerwebsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.